Good evening, I love you. Welcome to the greatest show on the internet, starring you, the greatest viewer on the internet. I'm Sean Plot. I'm Lee Grader. And I'm Sean Bloom. Two things are going to happen right now. Thing one, I'm going to let you know we're playing a game called Virtual Verse that also includes our two co-hosts <laughs> loading in a wee bit late. Virtual Verse is the game we're going to be playing today, a cyberpunk challenging point-and-click adventure game. Whoa. Um, that we're going to be diving Whoa. into. So I don't know what challenging means. Mm. I think that it really just means that it's a point-and-click adventure game. However, Lee <laughs> broached the following conversational topic in our 30- to 40-minute pre-show. What is your favorite thing to fidget with? Uh, Lee, would you like to yeah. lead the charge for us? Um, I mean, I have one that's a little... I would dare say groundbreaking, but I'm not sure if the world's ready for it, which is, you know, I like to chew on things. I like to chew on, on gum... Like to chew on whatever. And I realized, you know what's infinite gum? Infinite chewing gum? What? What is infinite chewing gum? Non-toxic, food-grade silicone. What is food-grade silicone? <laughs> I feel like if anything gets labeled as food-grade, it means that it is in no way food. I like food. Mean, it's just food-grade. If food, if food took a test and this silicone slipped in the back, it would pass. <laughs> Okay, I'm I'm uncomfortable with the parameters of this test because I gotta say, I really want anything that's gonna be graded in with food. Yeah, I I want it to be food. I want to be pretty goddamn sure that it's food. Yeah, right, right. You're like, what what if what if um what if there was an Italian restaurant called Arufo's that served food grade Italian? Right, like I would I would immediately go. That is a chemical company trying to pivot. Like how how yeah. how does it? W w so, is it like wax? Do you chew? Does it deform no, shape, it's, or do you it's just? Silicone. It's um, you know, it's the I, thing that uh, you know. I you understand know, personal that in... personal items. You know, the anything you're sticking in your body that's made of silicone. Like my um... lips, nose, and ass, which is full of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's the same. It's exactly like that. It's it's a rubbery, like you can chew it. It's chewy. Wait, when did that well, come they... out of your mouth, or is that a second one? <laughs> no, this came out of my mouth a while ago. Wow. Yeah, I'm also, I'm also really into close up magic now. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so wait, so so you put it, you chew it, and it doesn't deform or lose shape. It's is this no, like, a just, it's like a tooth resistant food it's grade? It's like a chew toy. It's like a chew toy that's non toxic and won't break apart. Wow, and and in yeah. the same way that with dogs they put high pitched squeaks in those to entertain them. Mm. If it's a zoomer, it's <laughs> just a bass drop with every chomp, right? Just like, boom, oh boom, dang, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> that's incredible. <laughs> boom, boom, that is boom. pretty incredible. Yeah, that would be. Is what there, you're doing? Is there like a haptic effect? I feel like I would want that to vibrate my jaw. Like <laughs> it's like Jedi chewing yeah. gum. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Where, where's the bass drop chew toy? This is this is incredible. This is fantastic. So, so where is the bass drop chew toy? Yeah. So, so to to really dig in, when you had posed the question, "What is your favorite fidgeting object?" You were yeah. actually talking about all sorts of different sensations. Like, I I actually have a like an aromatherapy gel, that, or oh. not a gel, an oh, oil yeah. that I just go. Oh, oh, that's I good. Put it back. It's literally in this drawer. I can't move it because my cat's currently sleeping right on top of it. But like, oh yeah, he knows. Yeah, uh, and and I, I know you also the fidget spinner and the cube yep. of of I have twitching the, the twisty. What is that? This is just uh, this is like a little snake thing that twists and you can oh. pop a little part. And so oh. you get a bunch of them, and you just go to town because you know. I have a lot of them somewhere, right? I have them all over yeah. the place. For for any that don't know, Lee uh, worked as a researcher at a toy company. Uh, I don't know if that's an accurate. I was a software engineer, but um, but my work. Well, this is like the research toy. The, res the, the research I is. I have a lot of toys. Yeah, I have, <laughs> I have a, a Avengers Endgame um, perler beads on my shelf, like <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> That's a okay. fantastic product. That's really a fantastic <laughs> product. I, well, I mean, I think that everyone knows my yes, favorite is uh, this particular pen. It's like, it just has a good weight, and oh. I can 
wobble it around, mm. and I can go around the thumb and stuff, you know, and we can... Oh my... Is that, like, the standard for, like, Olympic pen, pen flipping? I don't know. I remember once upon a time, because I fidget so much with it, I, like, I don't even realize I'm doing it half the time, and I think you all have spent enough time around me to know that I tap a lot and tap and, like, bob my leg, and I'm tapping, and I'm like... Yeah. Spinning a pen. It's, like, it's, it's obnoxious to just be around me in real life. But someone <laughs> watched uh, and saw me doing that, came up to me at Gamescom and said, I got you a competition pen twirling thing. Interesting. Like, 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 and, what? And it, 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 was, it was like, it looked a little bit like this, except you know how you have this cap here? It actually had a cap for either end, and it, it, it was really weird. It's like one of those images where they just mirror it down the middle, so it was like perfectly weighted. And yeah. I, um, I played with it for about 30 seconds, and my, my fingers were exhausted because the thing weighed like two wow. pounds because it had super weighted edges and stuff. I mean, it was the most Interesting. exhausting thing. And so th this particular pen I have actually had for ages. It has no ink in it. It's all gone. Mm -hmm. I removed it because I... Um, stab myself <laughs> and and the cats like to be near me and i just had this image of accidentally having the pen go off and like going in the cat's eye and like oh and i was like i'm a horrible oh, cat father i fidgeted with yeah. a weapon so i removed that and now the cats get bopped in the head and don't even really react at all so it's it's wow. uh this is my fidget toy of choice and sean bloom i um is there any food grade or Olympic level fidgeting device that you have, or do you even need? Yeah. Do you just exist and so, are fine with that somehow? I mean, I it's, uh, um, mostly. So um, I did. Uh, I, I rebooted uh, over the winter, um, and prior to that, in the fall, I learned uh, from my wife. Hey, uh, my cat's trying to escape. Sorry, I learned from my wife how to wife. how to solve a. Um, Rubik's cube. Oh, uh, you do. Oh shit! And wow. I started using that as in a fidgety way, like during meetings where I'm required to attend but not really participate. Yeah, uh, I found that to be like a really good thing that I could be doing. Yeah, because um, you, you you can't have the same nervous or I, I don't call them nervous ticks, but it's like energy consumptive actions. In mm -hmm. Zoom meetings, yeah. like in real life, you can say things like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you can like write right. things down in a notebook or you can go, oh, exactly what I was thinking. You can't do that in a in a yep. Zoom meeting. You just have energy and you have to sit there and burn through it. Yeah. So. I, uh, can uh, I? Oh, go ahead. Well, go I, no, I mean, I, I so I got a, I asked for and received a speed cube uh, for Christmas, <sighs> which is mm. awesome and really cool. But I haven't mm -hmm. really used it because uh, when my brain shut down over the winter i forgot how to solve the damn thing and i haven't had yeah. time to like yeah, yeah, yeah. go back and yep. figure it out again that makes sense um it's also That's just I, I think it's a wonderful state to be in where you have a thing you have a hobby thing that you bought and you haven't done yet and it just sits there that's cool that's like such mm. good potential energy Mm, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. for me, I do that with books. I have all mm -hmm. sorts of books just lying around me. I love having books around because, like, right. even when I'm not reading yeah. it, be right back. Wow, uh, I, uh, Sean, Sean Bloom, do you I need will a mute? I'll be right back. Do you need a mute? Do you need a mute? Give the man a mute. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't <laughs> mute him. Oh no! Oh sh! Oh, oh fuck! Um. Oh, we just need to make as much noise as we can to help respect Sean Bloom's privacy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Sean Blooms. Good to see you. Hi, sorry. Uh, the 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 one cat uh, learned how to pick locks, I guess. What? And and unlocked <laughs> unlocked the door to get to the other cat. That's not a... All right. One of the cats so learned to how to hotwire cars, and so uh, the police are outside, and uh, the cat is. Covered in cocaine. <laughs> cats, okay, Isn't cats that crazy? absolutely. Anyways, yeah, cats absolutely would do cocaine. They also absolutely would do tax fraud. Every cat would do tax fraud. Every no cat would commit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. You know. I I guess that makes me a cat. Well, I think this is perfect. Um, let's let's hop into <laughs> virtual divorce. Um, and oops, let me unmute it. So this is this is the game. This is the game. Now, first things first, we go to preferences and make sure that subtitles are on. No, not a chance. This is the whole thing. Audio, mm -mm, video, mm -mm, full mm -mm, screen. Mm -mm. 
subtitle skip. Oh, sub there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Prevent accidental subtitle skip. We're gonna want well, that. Sure. I mean, why would you? Interesting. <laughs> Is there Manual a switch skip subtitles makes... prevent. Interesting. Prevent game from being bad. Is Invent it? Yeah, and and I'm like, let's leave that unchecked. I want to see how this was originally intended. I, um, I, it makes you wonder, doesn't it? It makes. You I gotta wonder. tell you, I'm nervous. I'm nervous because when you say to me, challenging point and click adventure game, I think that you liked the second half of Broken Age more than the first half of Broken Age. Uh, Ooh. Mm. Whoa. It's a little bit. It's a little bit like when a teacher on the first day says, "You know, half of the students in this class are going to fail," and you're just like, "Get better, get better, <laughs> get better at your job." Yeah, no, like I, I fully recognize <laughs> that just because I fetishize pain in life, like I lost so many games of Brood War before I could win one game of Brood War. Ugh, like I understand that for myself, but I don't think that other people need the suffering you know what i mean like i don't think yeah. that because i remember um i remember this very distinctly there was someone who was really smart and really um an, an incredible speaker athletic and disciplined about their athleticism like went to the gym and was clearly in really good shape and had a whole bunch of uh programs that they were in and were like top one or top one percent in almost everything they did. And I met the person. I started to talk to the person and the person was just lovely and encouraging. And I remember I was so upset as like a high school kid. I was like, but that's what, where's your downside? Where's your downside, huh? What, like, did something horrible happen? Because there needs to be like a balance of equality or something, you know? Like, if you're really smart and yeah. athletic, you have to be cruel and insensitive. There's a the balance in all things, man. But I was just, it's not fair, oh my god. Um, but yeah, I don't know how we got on this. But let's, let's talk about the game. This is Virtual Verse. This is um, a cyberpunk point-and-click adventure game that I learned about right around the same time that I learned about um, Encodia that we played a few weeks ago and kind of struggled to get into. We just finished playing through There Is No Game, and I was excited to come back to Virtualverse because I'd already set it all up. It was already all good to go. And Lee, uh, Lee talked last week about how they wanted to see a point-and-click adventure game from way in the past that was bad so that we can be the stars again because There yeah. Is No Game really, again, pissed me yeah. off with its excellence in presentation. <laughs> too good. Too good. <laughs> too good. What a what a piece of shit the developer of that game is, man. I hope I'm going to go back in time, <laughs> and when I'm going to go to their Kickstarter, and I'm not going to back it. That's what I'm going to do. That's how I'm going to get my revenge. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's right, because I'm Betty. And so, and so I thought, since Encodia kind of missed the mark a little for us, and we had a good one, may as well try to do another recent one that could be good still. And then after this, we're going to go back into the past. I know nothing more than what I have said about this title. This is like one of these games that just works. So I didn't have to, like, start the game up. Let's see what... Yeah, I was like, oh, maybe I'll wait until I start the game up and hope. Whoa, is this Loom? This is definitely oh. Loom. This is, this is just Loom. Didn't we really play this? Did Did I, fall I fall on, on my... Augmented virtual reality headset. Oh, no. I assume. <laughs> oh god! The lenses oh. are shattered. Okay. I feel wait, that wait. like that's on you. I feel like. What the hell is Jay? Was... If you put your VR headset. So I do wrong this time. This character is already kind of. Not. And face like cool. is this death? Is this like a. A All smuggler. Right. Imagine breaking your phone and being like, I need to go to the smuggler downtown to get a new phone so I can call Jay. All right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it does it does make a little bit of an eerie amount of sense, you know, because like even in the modern day, most people don't own a phone. They just receive a free phone where they make payments to have temporary custody over the phone, where if at any mm. point you miss the payment, they break your phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when people are like, we bought a house, and I'm just like, did you? Did you? Did you? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Or, or, or have you received 
a very revocable permission slip to reside in that house. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah. so um, by the way, I have to give a nod right here to um, uh, the Uzumaki <laughs> reference, if any of you don't know. This oh. town is contaminated by spirals. Oh, spiral head. Uh, that's Jay. Not during that tour. Oh, interesting. She still sings sometimes. All right, so oh let me god. let me hit the journal button. Oh, Whoa. look at oh my god. Whoa. Now, now listen. I need you the artist to make me a watch that is so huge. It is <laughs> absolutely unwieldy in all situations and whatever you do make mm -hmm. sure that the strongest highlights on the screen are the knuckles. Are the, are the knuckles. I mean, I want... adore this. I like I don't oh, yeah. know from a technical perspective how that hand is. I I, I honestly don't know, but like this. Oh yeah. You have a giant watch that's in that's like a. That's <laughs> a console. It's a. Yeah. I woke yes, up and please, Jay yes. was nowhere to be found. My glasses were lying on the floor, shattered. Damn. I don't know what's going on. I gotta get my headset fixed as soon as possible. There's a place downtown <clears> that should <throat> be able to repair them. Map. Ooh. ooh map. By the way. Map. Lamp. T. Map. Mapped battery. Okay, so you're, the, you're the the sort of like highlighted pointer is a wrench, or a weird axe. Like a cursor. Oh, it does look a little bit like a cursor. It also, kind of looks like somebody doing jumping jacks. Yeah, it definitely looks like. It also looks like a component of an hourglass. I dare say it looks <laughs> like someone in a corset <laughs> that's too tight. I think. <laughs> You know what? The weird thing Way is that it looks tight. like such a common shape, but there's no name for it. It's like a, yeah. it's like the twenty sixth letter, it, 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 it's, or twenty eighth like, letter. Yeah, it's it's a flex and X, you know. A flex and X. A flex and yeah. X. A flex and X. Yep. Flex and X. Let's. I'm gonna read this. I woke up and Jay was nowhere to be found. My glasses were lying on the floor, shattered. Damn! I don't know what's going on. I gotta get my headset fixed as soon as possible. This place downtown that should be able to repair it. <clears throat> Look at the flipped corner. It's come unglued. Tear it down. It didn't know what it was looking for. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, well, that's not gonna do you any good. Whoa. Yeah, no, that's no good. One lens is shattered. Alright, so. Um, this is my inventory. Now, this up arrow and this down <coughs> arrow frightens me because it means we about to have a whole lot of inventory. Alright. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sugar free. Sugar free. Look at girl poster. Sugar free. Look sugar at free's girl a great poster. Look at. Is girl sugar poster. free. Sure free is the the brand of a girl. Is a particular brand of girl? I girl brand. um can you take your skateboard? Your Um I don't see a skateboard period. It's oh I see it, yeah. yeah. By the way, I really like it's this. I really like that it throbs when <clears throat> oh, yeah. I also like oh, that they oh. placed Oh, oh. Verbs. we got verbs. I like that they placed it over the button okay. so that you would. Twenty Model's years. Toy. Wait, it's I, a toy. It's a toy equipped with twenty years of battery life. Holy Is that shit, better than amazing. a real one with less battery life? No one knows. No, probably not. Um. I hope this this I game is imagining a world in which batteries last a long time. So do we have to like click through a menu of verbs every time we do anything? We might, but I kind of like this as an alternative yeah. to you can look at, lick, talk to, push, pull, open and close every object in the game. I'm picking it up. True. It's contextual. Nice animations. We, yeah. Use bed. Can't sleep, this headache is killing me. Buttons, use buttons. Whoa! My cats would love this. It's that time of oh, mating season for drawers? What is that? This, this drawer appears to be ready to fuck. This drawer I, is in uh... heat. <laughs> we can't go back to my place. My bed is in heat. I was nearly addicted was nearly to these. Addicted to these. Was... I don't was... want to take any more of these. I don't even know why I have them. That's such a good time when I was a teenager. Oh, I bet the battery is still in charge. Noodles. Look at the noodles. Pick up the noodles. A box of noodles. A box of noodles. My dinner from ten days ago. Oh, someone's been living in quarantine life, too. Yeah. 
Oh, is Sean Bloom frozen? Whoa! It's that time of year again. <laughs> All right. Well, it's it's so bad that um, video conferencing software not only do you, does it disconnect you, it also just shows a dumb picture of you to it's everyone. It's incredible. Yeah, no. I, I'm going to really <laughs> level this up by creating a video conferencing software where whenever you disconnect, it just prints something really personal and embarrassing about you. <laughs> I mean, w at some point they're thinking, okay, well, the, what what happens if the video stream cuts? What should we do? Well, let's just, just show a freeze frame. Ooh. There's a place oh, downtown. No. <laughs> oh, it's multi-chon. Oh, no. I can't actually fix this. This is just the way that it is. Now, if I had set up a completely secondary screen, we'd be okay. But for now, Lee, you're, you're going to continue to be enormously. Uh, and I will be uh, regular Sean. And below us will be the fractal pattern of the game. Excellent. Aggressive marketing. Everything seems so cold from here. They call it spa, but it's totally not. Boy, I've been to some of those. Fire. Look, you're not a spa, funny. you just have a faucet with hot water. There's always a woman's face on a flying screen, every time. And then another one on the wall. It's like the Blade Runner requirement. Yeah. What, what my code isn't working? Big. Can All right, zoom well, out my own camera? Um, I'm large. I yeah, I think, I'm I think you're just gonna you're just gonna be large if you're okay with that. I mean, I, I can. Just gonna be big. All right. Well, here's. Well, uh, I see Sean Blue messaging us. We're gonna get in this elevator, and I'm gonna message Sean back. I just have to simply right. put my camera far away. I don't think so. I think I'm just going to be yeah. very close. You're going to be... You know what? Here. Here's what I'll do. Wait, there's the rest of my There room. it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, no, this is it. This is the solution, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I have to really lower this. Lee in the bathroom. Uh, Lee, uh, we're gonna leave that door there, because it's too good. Okay, so, we're at Burger. Golden Burger Award. An award for eating 24 burgers in a single day. Oh, is this still our... Oh, this is still our apartment. We're, we're a two-story apartment. I have to leave. Can't explain. Had to crack the door and change your code. Uh-oh. You still have the reset password written down somewhere. Okay. Jay left a message on the mirror. She changed the balcony code and ran off. I don't understand. I must connect back to the network and try to get in touch with her as soon as possible. I All must. Right. I must connect. Alright. Is this going to be one of those games where you piss in the elevator? Why, why would I need to use... Okay, so I, I feel like I know what our first puzzle is like. Our first puzzle is to find the reset code for the um, balcony and to use it. Yeah. So that way we okay. can... great. Because I, I think that our apartment, we enter and exit from the balcony, I think. So she locked you in. But what about the elevator? Actually, I I, um, I, I, I blanked Roman. Is this like the second story of your apartment? Yeah, yeah, I think it is. So you have an arcade. You have an arcade next to the bathroom, and then you can take the elevator down to your to your bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like I also have an electric glove in our inventory. It electric glove, glove. hacked it some time ago. It can be used as a controller for various devices. Great. A broom so old it just makes the floor dirtier. Great. Let's find Damn. a floor we need to make dirtier. Pick up the hardware. Is is this character supposed to be cool? Absolutely. He seems kind of. I don't know. Lame up. Hate to say it, but what's a jump? Kind of a lameo. Kind of a lamer. Yeah. You know how there's gamers and then there's lamers. 
Yeah, no, I remember when that was like the big word. I'm just taking the screwdriver. What about this wrench? William the Wisp says this guy is a massive downer. <laughs> hey, I heard it. Wait, wh why did it move this know. over? Oh, I think it hung oh. up on him. Did it hang up on sh That's that's, all right. that's fine. Okay. Okay. Oh, I hear Sean Bloom. How did I just hear... Sean what? Bloom's going to be back any second now. I can't wait. <laughs> Sean Bloom's going to arrive in the fucking elevator in the game and be like, I'm sorry, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I can go back. <laughs> Let me actually cool just... Ah, Drenzen says, are you supposed to be a caricature of what a cool gamer is? No, no, no. We're the caricature of what cool gamers are. Yeah. Modded arcade game from last century. Excellent. All right. What happens oh. when a cool gamer turns oh. 38? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. My cat figured out how to hack the mainframe, so... Oh, that's awesome. Um, congrats. I actually have no idea what's Oh wow, we have a lot of stuff in our inventory. Yeah, let me let yeah, me actually do. let me catch you up to speed because love it. not a lot okay. has happened. Basically, we have an elevator that is the second um story of our own apartment. And the way that we need okay. to exit our apartment is out here on the balcony. Where right here there's the balcony keypad. But oh no, J changed the code. I need the reset code. It should be written down somewhere. So J Wait, I assume, hold on. Isn't, isn't this a tremendous fire hazard? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, you're locked in your apartment. Fire is a thing that hasn't happened in a long time. Oh, look, it's Gizmo. This is a feature without fire. Okay. Yeah, Gizmo. Gizmo. Yeah. Oh, and hard I'll to identify. Gizmo. I Hello, human. human. Any messages for me? One new, One new incoming, incoming message. message. Oh, yes, lead, please be Gizmo. Message from A and V Electronics. Subject: Payment reminder. We hope you are enjoying the board we sent you last month. Oh. Just a reminder that your first payment is now overdue. You know, I, I oh. Please disregard this message if you have already made your payment. Wow, that's a you weird know, I, message. I, I just read this thread that just depressed the hell out of me. That pointed out how, in the modern day and age. We just don't own any of our stuff anymore, and like the, the, yeah. the owners give us the ability to possess it briefly, so that the model is: if we default, if we cannot pay for the thing, they take the thing back and give it to someone else, and probably won't be able to pay for it as well. <laughs> so that way, they can keep right. kind of daisy chaining the money extraction <laughs> process. Um, but oh it, it uh, shared a story of how someone was not paying their Tesla, so repo guy went to go get the Tesla, hit a button, and the Tesla backed out of the parking spot and then parked in front of the uh, house and honked to notify the repo man where it was. And, and Amazing. in the future, Amazing. in the future, it could be something that's just like, yeah, if you aren't paying, the Tesla will just drive itself back to the store. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? Shit. That's... Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, uh, you don't, you don't own anything. Okay, I have a, I have this idea that, um. Holy shit, look at is. how many, oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. So, so Sean, That's what do you think long. of this idea? Anything that you pay to use, anything that you pay in order to have the ability to use, what if by law you also got some equity in the ownership of that item? So, apartments. It's uh, like uh, like uh, like rent to own. Netflix. There's, there's no such thing as everything. As yeah. leasing, you, everything is rent to own. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I, the thing is that like some of the things. Uh oh. Hey, uh, Sean Bloom, your audio is super crazy out of sync. Is there any chance? You can hang up and rejoin. Super crazy out of sync, huh? Yeah. I can try. You know, give me give me a quick second as well. Yeah, where's where's the equity ownership of the cat? Here we go. That should help a little bit. You know, let's let's see how are you doing. Uh yeah, is that better? Yeah. Uh say say something again. 
I, yeah, is this is this working any better or still like crazy? You are ridiculous. Still pretty crazy, huh? But you know what? That's okay. That's okay because it, it, it's if your internet is struggling, that's okay. It'll just be an internet that's struggling, and that's you know that's the way yeah, that is. That might be where we are. That's all okay. Good. Well, uh, wait. I, I didn't see how Gizmo was doing today. I am incapable of feelings. Ooh, the dream. Hey Lee, what's the weather <laughs> forecast? Today rain. Tomorrow rain. All right. Where's Jay? Okay. Okay. Maybe part of loving is learning to let go. Okay, Gizmo. All right, Gizmo. Best thing you're pretty smart, don't you? I am equipped with one thousand gigabytes of memory. And I only need a nanosecond to access it all. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. Is there anything useful you can do? <laughs> There's no power comes no responsibility. That's, That's pretty, pretty good. good. That's pretty good. New diagnostics report. I am a fully operational and all of my circuits are functioning perfectly. Alright, alright. You're a useless piece of junk. What we think we become. Whoa. Oh man, I need to go. Stand by. Acknowledged. Okay. So we we need to find somewhere. Oh, a food synthesizer. Let's use this. Oh heck yeah. I'm. I hang our <clears throat> I mean, it does seem like we have a lot of really cool technology, and m most of it is malfunctioning. Yeah. Okay. So Which I'm gonna... is a certain type of dystopia. Avoid doing more damage. Okay, so let's let's head back down because we we were in the first floor of our two floor elevator only apartment where we have managed to put some arcade cabinets. Pretty nice. Pretty pretty nice. Ooh. My arcade game from last century. Whoa! Wow. He loves a video game as much as he loves Jay. All right, so. So where, are you where rifling? Are we... You're gonna rifle through the coin slots of arcade games in your own house? I mean, hell yeah! If somebody put coins in there, I want them. We we'll pray. Well then, oh, then play it. Well, uh, okay. Jay's gone, and you love her. Let's play fighter, man. Uh, listen, if Jay left you her fr fighter cabinet, then I think all you can do is play it in her <laughs> honor. Exactly. Okay, so I can in her, in her memory. Wait, what does the lipstick writing say? I have to leave. I can't you explain. Can't explain. I had to, yeah, yeah. I had to okay. crack the door and All change right. your. Oh, you should still have the reset password written down somewhere, Jay. All right, you sink. Is that a toilet? Do you have a toilet? The yeah, toilet? the toilet is the thing that's in the foreground right here. Oh, or in the future, do they just have uh, showers that you poop in? Maybe. Maybe I can imagine. I can imagine that. A big plastic palm tree, immune to acid rain. There's actually a lot of interactables here. What about the hardware? Yeah, there's a ton. It's too Is poop to always going to be a thing, or do you think we're gonna we're gonna evolve beyond poop? Evolve, like, mm. or like like get past it technologically? Like a pill? You take a pill when you're born, yeah. and then H Hogwarts style, like a. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, so, I can't find... So, I'm going to leave this stuff on. We have meds, a hoverboard, a that. broom. A jumper. Ooh, dang. Uh, every I'm time I forget about the, the lack of bathrooms at Hogwarts until the 19th century, I'm reminded, and I, lo I love it all over again. Uh <clears throat> where, okay, if you look in the books, like, where would we have a reset code written down? That's... Yeah. This is just so challenging. All right. I mean, I feel like it's going to be on the back of Jay's poster for some reason. Okay, so can I... Oops. 
can you use the broom on the poster? Or all right. um, yeah, there's one. What actually is that? Yeah. There's a code ring in the corner of the poster. 15287, let's get the fuck out of here, baby! Woo! <laughs> I mean in Why is there a code written on the poster? Should I just not ask because that question? Because it's a game, it's a game, it's adventure game. Oh, is the money in this universe F? Is it fucks? F? Like, this pizza costs <laughs> eight fucks? <laughs> I have zero fucks to give for that pizza. Yeah, well, exactly. you're gonna need exactly eight fucks. Like, war campaign. <laughs> An ad for a mild act of war aimed at bringing peace to the world. What? A see-through wall reveals the building's interior. Better to be an outcast than spend my whole life at an office desk in one of those glass prisons. Oi. Wait, I'm... I don't understand. Okay. So that's an... You're looking at an office building, and we're seeing sort of, like, exterior mm. elevators on the side of the office building, but the character yeah, moves the into it. Yeah, thinking about, like, how edgy or edgelord this is. What was the mild act of war? I, I like, did, literally didn't understand what that was referring to. Did we just complain about the lamestream media? Yeah. Official news channels aren't reliable anymore. I get all of They're my too news. Quiet. Yeah. I get all of my news from the advertisements on my smart toaster. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Alright. I went from yeah. biased to based by removing my eye. This spam brainwashes people. Wow. You know, I, I, I like that if you are learning, uh, or actually, if if I like the way you are, I ask about your influences. If I don't like it, you're brainwashed, right? Mm. I think those, those are the right things. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. So, so that's why I'm going to stop calling myself an influencer and start calling myself a brainwasher. There you Brain go. Watcher's okay. good. That's really I good. fool Shows all how these little idiots. You for people. Yeah, exactly. I know. They actually think that I believe in the power of positivity. They were fools. <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's keep let's keep our our tough guy attitude. Look at glass sign. Cocktail, Cocktail bar, bar sign. sign. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I was don't about like to that either. He doesn't like anything. No, he doesn't like anything. He likes Jay. And Jay's video game cabinet. <laughs> wow. Yes! Whoa! That was, a, that, was a, that was a shitty. That was a three-frame animation of getting on and taking off of motor, yeah. on a, a motorcycle. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Master boot record. Who's this fine gentleman? Master. Okay, Master Boot Records is a pretty great name. Valenberg. We use Where? indie names here. Is this a send up or is this satire or is this is this for real? I I don't know yet. Are we babies? <laughs> what the Having hell? Babies. Electrons. Fields Electron of glass. cyber babies plugged in. Beauty bot. In the future, we will shine bright lights at our babies. Sky drivers. Theta. This is pretty rad. Meow, 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 meow. Wow, this we almost didn't make it to the title sequence because we couldn't find what? the reset password at the <laughs> apartment building. Okay. I, I keep my hood on under my helmet. This might be the perfect <laughs> <for> walking. <laughs> Yeah, it might just be a, good, a really good game that's also begging to be made fun of. Ooh, it's, it's our specialty. All right, so I made a damn town. There's a place it. around here that might not be able, to, or might be able to fix my headset, but I can't remember exactly where Oscar around. All right, so um, oh, broom, hit it. Um, use, use the broom. Use the broom with everything. Night and day. I love broom it. Is a skeleton. So if, if um, I click on this, I'm just here. Oh, oh nice. that's Jesus! That's this. This is the best map system we've ever experienced in a game, ever. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, can I Wait, just say, look at the reflections of the rain? Oops. They're actually really great. 
on the floor, on the ground. Yeah, no, that's very cool. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, night date. So the night date sign reminds me of, in San Francisco, there's a bar called Dirty Habit, which I, I think is like, it would be hilarious to like ask somebody out for a first date. Like, do you want to get together at a Dirty Habit? Yeah, I mean, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do I do eventually tire of like the edgy names for alcohol social related stuff you know what I mean like oh, yeah. I, sometimes I just want like Joe's I'm like, oh, there. It's like yeah. is Joe in this place nah great I'll drink I mean, Joe's I think, it's a, yeah, yeah. I think it's a filtering system right like if you ask somebody out to on a date to, to dirty habit yeah uh, then they they know very quickly like whether they want to go on that date or not yeah yeah that's a good right it's um <laughs> it's a game we call find the swingers and uh, when you found them you, uh, <laughs> yeah. you you ask them out to a date at dirty habit and then you don't show up that's the trick <laughs> that's the filter there we go there we go so cola i have to pay first weird green mm -hmm. drinks Oh, oh, oh. Coffee flavored drink, raspberry juice, grape juice, phantom SM drink, energy water, energy water, crap, you know what? <laughs> they had rumors. Yeah. <laughs> Dirty it's Hobbit. Stylish somehow. All right. Well, as always, chat is better than our show. Just incredible. Just a bunch of chemicals mixed with water. All right. Let's. I wouldn't drink any of this stuff. It's not cool enough. <laughs> Public touchscreen terminal. Dating maps support. Amazing. I can use support, honestly. Travel. What's email. what are what's the movie? Can you watch a movie on the public terminal? Oh yeah. Movie. That's fine. Yeah, let's watch. Day Beast. seven. Wild hunt. Inner void. Inner void. A place in the woods. Oh, Luke. this is. Oh, Luke looks pretty good actually. Broke. I bet it's got some time travel. Beast. Uh... Yeah, Luke could be good. Luke could be good. Where, where do you see Wild Luke? Hunt? Well, actually, Wild Hunt looks pretty tight. Wait, this is just A through D. Yeah, holy cow. There's... Once. Can I click on any of these? Or are these just like an artist had extra time? I hope you can click on every of these. Uh, it's going to be like, I don't know, the oh, credits. Right. 20XX9. Welcome to Day 7 TV, where we, we don't really think that's a place we would hang out. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's do tourist. <laughs> I'm no tourist! I'm no tourist, what the fuck? Picky gourmet, salty what? salmon, captain. Oh, it's just pizza and more, I got it. I think we should get the captain. There is a hidden camera somewhere. It's not a credit that's card. not a credit card. Solid salami. The mad dog. I would get a solid salami, man. I love salami. Salami's really good. In fact, I love salami, salami right salami now. now. I might get dog. a mad dog. This one looks tasty. Alright, so this is this is Alright, so we can't do nothing. Everything here. in this game is Lego Batman. The mad dog looks like it's got uh shrimp and pineapple. So Yeah. I don't want to buy anything. I can't remember the last time I had a vacation, maybe another time dating. Oh my god! I need a date! Give me the money, it'll happen. Like, there's no optionality! Yeah. yeah. You it's just a, say, like, a date, and it goes, alright, pay me, and that's the entire yeah. exchange. Pay for a date. I don't need the check. Give me. <laughs> I grew up here. Luke, Luke Truman. Truman! Um, this is like SimCity 2000 levels of news. Cure for AVR side effects found. Oh, Trappist One. Is that just? Is that? That's root beer? Oh my god! <laughs> That's horrifying. Is that root beer nostril? Is that a? Oh my a, god! A this deal? is a nose with blood coming out of it. Oh my god! It's All right, just I, like I wanna gushing. Yeah. Let me tell you what I saw in this image. What I saw was this is a woman and this is the woman and this is the back of their heads and their arms are around each other and they're looking towards uh -huh. a sand dune. With some That's some sort of city skylines behind, right? Right, yeah. And then they suddenly transformed into blood shooting out of a nose, and I was startled. Yeah, I know. That's horrific. 
Trappist 1 was a fake story. All right, surveillance on play safe card approved. Pray online. Pray online. <laughs> Whoa, man. Praying online, man. What a weird, whoops it down world. Are you kidding me? Los Puertos. Uh, yeah, praying online probably sounded weirder before 2020. California, California Death Trip. Why? These are great. This is high quality good what, stuff. What is this saying? Yeg Snacker. Tick in Norsk. Where yeah, was this game made? Alright. Let's, here's Safety Cone. I'm taking it. <laughs> I really don't want to carry a traffic cone, but I love having medicine, a broom, energy water, a jumper, a screwdriver, <laughs> noodles. <laughs> exactly. I had a collection of those in my drunken... Okay, yeah. Why? So, so wh where, where do y'all where do want to go? Do you want to go to the back street? Do you want to uh, knock on the door? I want to go to the wanna... right. I want to go farther to the right. That's always our fatal flaw, is not going far enough to the right. That, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Is this... Wait, so this is the noodle bar from Blade Runner, except that they sell pills. Oh, right. Yeah. Alright. What's the deal of the day? There's no deal today. Whoa. It's, you're supposed to say it's a deal every day. All the deals. No, don't say that. I say that. There's no deal. All sorts of designer Dim drugs, trainers, stim bags, and anything else you need. Uppers, just, downers, just... all arounders, stimmers, <laughs> glimmers, glimmers, and trimmers. To Even boost UX. your user experience. UX is going to be off the charts. Oh my god. <laughs> In the future, mayors refer to the residents as users. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, my AVR headset is broken on you, I want you can fix it. Uh, Sean Blue, would you be the voice actor of this, uh, uh, attendant? <clears throat> my AVR headset is broken, uh, sure. you fix it? Maybe the guy on in the shop around the corner can help you. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Hitomet says, Yig Snacker Ikenorsk means I don't speak Norwegian in Norwegian. That's oh, I like that. That's great. Also, I'm just making up that pronunciation. We 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 missed the bit where, but he had a second part that was yeah. like, I wouldn't do yeah, it if I were you. Yeah. But I would stay away from that old fart. I'm looking for my girlfriend. Have you seen a woman with hair? <laughs> Did you just see the 100 hamburger droid go by? That was incredible. <laughs> A thousand people pass by this shop every day. Fuck! Wow, a thousand, and where are they now? Fra frankly, it doesn't look. Frankly, it doesn't you. quite look like it. There's no one here. Listen, I'm not the kind of guy who stares at every girl who passes by. Whoa! I'm a faithfully married man. A faithfully married man. Calm down! This I didn't mean anything America. by that. <laughs> America's pub. America's pub. I still believe in the institution of marriage. Whoa, what are you oh. doing on that computer? <laughs> in what the future, it's not on that. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like, it's what a computer. Just... computer. Have you anyone... seen any good TikToks lately? <laughs> there is no game. <laughs> what, are, what are you doing on that computer? It looks like you're so busy. <laughs> Why don't you mind your own business? <laughs> yeah. I'm working, can't you see that? I'm just updating the inventory. Uh, yeah. Stop asking. Don't ask so many questions. It looks like you're telling me anyways. <laughs> you were like smiling at I saw you. Fess oh up. My God. What the hell are members. you talking about? Are you spying on me? Just get out of my sight. No drugs for you. <coughs> I got the sneezies. Look at plant. Another fake plastic plant. It's used to Look stop the eye, acid sorry. rain that comes down from the corporations where most of them have moved to the moon. America's pub. America's pub. <laughs> for the last remaining vestiges of humanity that are looking for some dry humping. America's pub. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright, let's look at Babe's sign. AVR Babes! Choose your favorite! Yeah! Dude, I hope you're Dude. at least 18... 
talking talking to us. Look at the big we, we sign. Can, we can directly at the audience. Okay. I hope Baby you're eighteen. <laughs> Pixelated sexual you content about? coming soon. What if your What if your sun sign was Babe? What if you were born in the year of the Babe? <laughs> like were born you in a... the year of the Babe? I'm not a Sagittarius. I'm a That's babe. That's pretty good. Yeah. I'm a hot babe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, like, I, I, I feel like there is gradual erosion that's just been happening with the idea of social norms. Like, I like social norms. I like, for instance, if you see someone going, hey, how are you? And the other person who's doing terribly says, good, good, good. How are you? And I am doing terribly like, dude, I'm awesome. So let's talk about something else. And we do. Like, I, I like that sort of social norm. And, sure. but, like, there's been sure. erosion of these kinds of things. Like, how often did people say, don't look at your phone at the dinner table with their parents to their kids growing up? And we are all just on our phones constantly because it's just like, fuck it, right? Like, I just, I want to be on my phone. I want to be with my phone for a moment. Yeah. I need another, I need another pop of dopamine. Um, yeah. But I, I wonder when we're going to start chipping away at things like names of astrological signs, right? Like, where, where is the, like, um, the hot babe sign brought to you by a Toyota? Right, like we just start having oh, all this. Dude, yeah. I, I love that. I never made the connection between sponsored us. That's good. Yeah, March like 12, March 12th through April 27th is sponsored by Yeah, yeah. We're, we're like, <laughs> already, how about Ford? It's already a Taurus. You could just. Yeah, yeah like, because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a cancer, but wouldn't it be cool if I could be a red lobster? Right, like you just, yes. <laughs> yeah. And every time someone says, "Hey, what sign are you?" I'm like, "I'm a red lobster." Do you want to go to Red Lobster? Like, it's really, that's really good. It's extremely yep. effective. It's always on the brain. Um. Yeah, you know, have I? I mean, I, I always one of the. Oh, you know how everybody has like a couple topics that they will just rant about that like get really get them like pet peeves, I guess. My, yeah, my, no, no. I, sure. yeah, the, yeah, we go into a, a fiending tilt a world, of course. Yeah, oh yeah, mine is very classically uh, astrology. I am, I'm very, I get very irritated about it. I think it's because I know a lot of people who, um, who are very nice, smart, great people who also happen to, they happen to believe that uh, that, that astrology you is mean, real. They happen to believe that the position of celestial objects <laughs> influences whether or not they should drink orange juice before their job interview on Wednesday, right? Like, okay, um, wait, wait. I, I'm not okay. Here's the thing. That's fine with me. The only reason I don't like it is because it's disproven. Like, there's weirder theories, right? Like, the germ theory, where it's like, yeah. you're telling me that tiny men, tiny men tiny live men. inside me that I can't see. Tiny, tiny men, yeah. And, uh, like, germ theory sounds insane. Like, uh, that's fine. A crazy yeah. theory sounds good. But what gets me is uh, it's the flat earther thing, where it's like, it's been disproven. We're going to keep disproving it. Yeah. Uh, we're going to keep disproving it. And it's like, um,. It gets to a question of, like, do you believe science? And it's like, I don't know. It's like, what's that in your hand? It's a smartphone. Okay. Like, that was You're made up. with the help of science. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, I will say um, that, uh, first of all, I think, Sean Bloom, your camera froze for a moment. There you are. You're back. But it was frozen yeah, where you just had, you had wide eyes and you're just staring blankly into the camera. I was like, oh, this is perfect. Uh, but you, you were going to say something, Sean? Because I, 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 I have a thing I want to say as well. No, 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 no! I'm just thinking about how germ theory made my smartphone. But uh, the you go ahead. <laughs> oh, uh, I guess that, that, that there's one more thing that I want to say that this rounds out. I think this rounds out my entire astrology thing. Um, yeah, there's observable reality, and then there's meaning, right? And I am happy for everyone to assign to to to, to bring whatever they want to the realm of meaning. But yeah. like, when it comes to like observable, measurable claims that can then be measured you know tested and measured against like that's sure. that's the thing that's my thing yeah 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 that's it rant oh, over. I love it. so far is done dude yeah. i will i will say i will say though um one thing that i find interesting about astrology is that it is one uh, if you're someone who's into it and you read your horoscope or whatever it's one of the few structured forms of self-reflection Mm. that exists mm -hmm. where like for instance if i wake up and i'm like all right i gotta get breakfast i gotta walk the dog and i gotta get ready for a show and i gotta make sure that the 
PS5 is, has the right cords so I can stream Demon's Souls tomorrow. You know, this is like kind of what I did today. But, um, when, when do I sit down and ask myself, like, who am I trying to be? Where do I want to go? What, what are things to think? What are relationships that maybe I'm not managing well? Or that I want to self-reflect about to become better at communicating? There's, like, not actually, like, structured forms for an average player to do that. And this is part of why I think that things like tarot cards and astro astrology can be very sticky because it's like an interesting yeah, sure. it's, it's it's kind of like um, a self-reflection tool we're going to deal out some cards to oh, get you to think about a number of things as a way to I just made a connection as you're saying that because um, have you heard of the phrase uh, the spiritual bypass no so no. spiritual bypassing is when you take something spiritual and you use that to not deal with other stuff so Here's an example of that. So I love what you're saying about like, yeah, let's let's evaluate, you know, how we interact with people, so and so. Yeah. On an actual first date that I had, it went really well. And then at the end, yeah. like somehow through discussion, we got to our birthdays were really similar. So she was like, yeah. Oh, so you're a whatever and I was like, Oh no. And she was like, Yeah, I was in this relationship and it was just it was really bad and things, you know, it got really tricky and whatever and then um she was like, so what I what I learned was I just can't date Sagittarius. Right. Yeah. And I was like, right. oh. I was like, oh, you almost found, like, you almost gleaned something. But, oh, no. I don't date anyone with a prime number of letters in their name. I just can't do it. Yeah. So it's a, it's a, it's a, yeah, like any kind of, any kind <laughs> of. I'll date you, Sean. That's your count. I'll date you. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready, man. Let's, let's, all Sean's are going to join together. So yeah, spiritual bypass is fascinating. You can look it up. There's all sorts of. You know, that is really interesting. That is really. It also, it also falls into like, am I? It's like I'll be so zen that I don't have to feel anything bad anymore. Right. It's like that's another one. Speaking of zen, put on your best zen face because we have to reset. Okay. Wait, it, I need to. Oh, I need to hit this button and then I can reset. <laughs> All right, we're 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 good. We're good. We're back. All right, good, good. so let, let, let's chat to Strange Dude. Strange Dude. Hey, Strange Dude. All right, uh, 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 Lee, do you want to be Strange Dude? Yes. All right. Who who are you? I'm nobody. Nobody. Nothing is real. Oh God. Oh okay. Right, what are you gonna doing be, here? I'm gonna be comic book guy. I'm helping people. Helping people. What does that mean? I sell dreams in AVR. Life is hard, but one can still dream. Yeah. So, wait, you're some sort of AVR pusher or something? Watch your mouth. What I sell here is entirely legal. <laughs> I'm just helping people who can't access the optimized user experience. I bet your I... stuff will never be as good as the real thing. What's the matter with you, dude? Did you come here just to insult me, or what? Oh god, I'm so sorry! I didn't mean to sound rude! I was I'm just curious, just... I make a living selling hardware, and I sell software, and I'm just- I'm just really interested in knowing the movie star Nicolas Cage. <laughs> ah, I understand. <laughs> well, I can't argue that my cartridges are comparable to the stuff in permanent reality, but I'm sourcing them from the right places. There are well side effects, though. Oh god, side effects! What kind of side effects? <laughs> We're using different ways to boost the experiences. Uh, he, he's drifting. And get them as close to possible. <laughs> <laughs> permanent, permanent reality ones. He's losing his voice. I love but those are reality. the healthiest things to inject directly into your brain. Are you telling me it isn't just software? It's like a scratch and sniff of VR experience. Not at all. The experiences are mostly software, but there's also some chemicals. <laughs> what hey? It's all me. Hmm, I'm not so sure. Don't uh I I can show you it's all clean. Clean. Yeah, sure, thanks clean. for the information anyways. Clean right. chemicals. I also love so much that the this character is just going like as he talks. Is that a real mustache? I don't have a mustache. 
What are you joking? What? Are you serious? I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it right now. I'm standing in front of you, and I can totally see your mustache. Maybe it's a glitch with my avatar. Whoa. I'll check that later. He's well, okay. gone. Okay, I mean, that makes avatar. sense. Have you seen a girl around? What? Our character is so. is the opposite of tough and the opposite of reasonable. Have you seen we'll a girl? Town. Excuse me, have you seen a girl around? Gamer Town population hey. you. I'm looking for a hot babe to go to night date with. I see lots of girls every day. <laughs> it's probably better for you if she's not on my list. How dare you, you take it back right now? It's my girlfriend! Calm down, I'm just kidding. Wait, was that? I haven't seen anyone the around answer, here. That didn't make any sense. Like, I understood all of those individual words, but those sentences didn't correspond to one another. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. certainly not with our voice acting. <laughs> I just want to be one of those flying hamburger droids. I know, I like those hamburger droids. Do you know where I can fix my AVR headset? It means everything to me. Uh. Uh, you may want to check the shop nearby. Yeah, probably. Just go back the way you came and turn right. Follow the hamburger droid. Oh. Go back the way we came, huh? Ah. Uh. Wow. It, it, it'll be at the far back of the screen on the right side of your monitor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, all right. Look out, it's one of the fry guys. Some hard doing the exact same things the older hardware at twice the price. I mean, you keep changing the slots to force you into proprietary things. Everyone who charges money for new things are getting worse. They're all evil. Chestnut Street, not a place I would Chestnut have. Street? Chestnut Street. Someone named this Chestnut Street. You know. Chestnut you know, Street has seen better days. You know, I, I, I liked some of the world building in Minority Report where it was clearly taking what we had and extending it. You know, like the idea of walking in a mall and there's an advertisement that like scans your eyes, sure. looks up who you are in a database and talks to you directly, where it's like, yeah, no, it's... Yeah. And every year I think about that and I'm like, we're totally going there. Um, but there, there's a different kind of futurism where in the future, everything is individually at its most extreme of corruption and nothing yeah. makes sense holistically. It's just like... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cyber chestnuts you... went extinct last century when the acid rain burned down all the real chestnut fields. <laughs> now the firmware for chestnuts is busted and there's no nuts you can crack anymore. <laughs> and it's just like, I just... <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I, want, I want everything taken to an illogical extreme. Like when uh, well, I saw... It's good. I, uh, there's, it's so, there's something very compelling about this. Yeah, um, Chestnut Street. The shop's the only place the number so, uh, yeah, so like, yeah. I mean, I like the... Chestnut Street is like six feet wide and fifteen feet long. Soft as a downy chick. Uh, Mookie said Chestnut Street is a good parallel to Juz Alley. Mm. <laughs> if you follow it to the end of Juz, you should find the archive. Yeah, I'm uh, meet me down at a Chestnut and Juz. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> just. <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't go to the Nasty Habit. I don't know, what was the name of that bar again? <laughs> uh, Dirty Habit. Dirty Even Habit, better. oh yeah. I like Nasty yeah, Habit, but I like Dirty Filthy Habit. Filthy Habit is... <laughs> I, I, I just want to make a bar called The Bad Bar. The Bad Bar. The Bad yeah, Bar. The Bad Bar. We have what could be called beer and food-grade nuts. <laughs> so I can see, I can see the Bad Bar being good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but they call it the bad bomb. Yeah. Yeah, like, I I want there to be a restaurant that's like that, where it's just called really bad food. And, yeah. like, all the food names are just, like, shit burger. It's like, and then it just it lists, just like, yeah. some fucking patty with whatever cheese we had today on buns, because it's a hamburger, comma, you fucking idiot. And all the waiters and waitresses <laughs> are rude as healthy. Like, what do you want? Uh, can I get this really bad burger? Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like really yeah. confrontational. I mean, what if it was just called sh shit? <laughs> See the bar? It's just S H T because that's how you do the branding, right? That's how you do it. Yeah. Shit. All right. All right. So, yeah. uh, we picked up a broken TV. 
uh, because this is a point-and-click adventure game. Look at the poster. Some hype DJ playing live. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> DJs aren't real. Time isn't real. Reality isn't real. All right, let's live talk music about some... live since the eighteen uh, millions. <laughs> since since the music wars of twenty one twenty one. Sick wars! Holy shit! Do you remember that arcade game that was a? Uh, it was it was one of those shooty gun games, and it was Aerosmith, and you're in the future, and you have to shoot CDs at people. I absolutely do. That was an incredible game. Like that is branding combined with a cutting edge technology to produce something that is awful. And I love that as a kid, just going there like Metallica's playing, and you're like full, 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 firing off CDs and shit. Oh man, if. Oh. Guess what franchise didn't I, I make it to the 2000s, huh? <laughs> I think the people in chat are, are many of them too young to remember that. Many yeah, of them? Like, what's an arcade? arcade? Oh, do you mean like Apple like, Arcade? Every yeah. Mm -hmm. What's an arcade? <laughs> do you mean a generic sort of doorway that you find in architecture in like the 1500s? Is that what you mean by arcade? Like an arcade? <laughs> arcade! <laughs> All right, uh, so so Sean Bloom, I need your best bouncer voice acting here while I go back to Batman. Right. I'm looking for hardware components. You're in the wrong place. Move along. What are you talking about? I've been here before. You must be confused. This is private <laughs> property. You can't <laughs> enter. Wait, I swear I've been here before, but it was a long time ago. I've only been working here for a few months. I have clear orders from my boss not to let anyone inside unless they're one of our trusted clients. I really need to get inside! I really need to get inside! No way, punk. You <laughs> ain't coming in. My shift is almost over. I don't want any trouble. So, let's... <laughs> I need to get trouble. back home and eat something. I'm this hypoglycemic. <laughs> I'm not wasting my time with you. This Never mind! <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's with the Japanese world building? Yeah, what's with the world building? I've decided that we're just we're just a whiner. What's we're, we're... the world building? Amazing. We're, we're a middle schooler with a hoodie, and we just are really <laughs> opinionated and emotional about everything. It's a nightclub. Like, I would ever hang out there. The news can't be trusted anymore. But I'm in a Facebook group that has the real news. What's, what's with the Japanese signs? Japanese signs? I don't see any signs at all. They're right! They're <laughs> there! Wait, what? They're literally there! Can't you see them? Hold on, what's my motivation? I don't understand this line. All I see is another stupid advertisement. That's not a sign. I always forget there's only a few of us. Oh, and I said something else, but it doesn't matter. Who I'm aren't looking for my girlfriend. into virtual reality. Wait, you're ah. the only person who sees real things. Do I look like a dating service broker? Come kind on. Of. You sure do not. You're right about that. Good, sir. Of course, I'm always right. Whoa, everybody in this town's a dillweed. <laughs> do you want some noodles? <laughs> you can keep them. What if I put some energy water into the noodles? What if I... <laughs> stabbed him in the neck with a... That sounds pretty good. Don't, don't make, make me do what I do best. Oh, don't make me, don't fucking make me, bro. <laughs> Man, I just tried to, like, check something. And I uh, accidentally uh -huh. saw, like housing tweets like, like oh no like not tweets tweet. about housing debates and i'm like i can't i can't do it i'm on a uh, show i can't is do that it. you I... alex <laughs> of course it's me who are you talking to got the modules <laughs> got uh, the modules. <laughs> i'm sorry wrong door we're going away then <laughs> this is good <laughs> Oh shit, we got an alley! Oh shit, I'm going to find out! Wait, that Chestnut Street wasn't an alley? Wait, this this alley is spacious. It's a big alley. It's a very big alley. It's a, this is a big alley. Your wife's name is Allie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I was just realizing that the only time I'd heard you say the word alley before was like about alley. <laughs> it's about the alley. Wow. I... It's about wow. alley. <laughs> this is the <laughs> now. So that means that if there's if there's anyone who has the most expertise on all alley related subjects, in the same way that I'm an expert on people from England. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Yeah. No, I, t I can tell you anything about access roadways. Yeah. <laughs> Frontage roads. All right. A it's huge, a huge steel, steel wall is blocking access to subway rails. Big ass steel living. walls. Oh. Dumpster. Use, Use that it. dumpster. I can hear bumps and thuds coming from inside. I hope it's just a couple of cats fighting for food. I'm not opening it. I'm afraid the animals fighting inside will bite me. Just what say no. <laughs> This is this is like this literally sounds I don't mess like my blade. This character is lying to us. He overexplained himself. Look at this. Uh, I'm That's not true. opening it. There, I'm afraid animals fighting inside will bite me. There's bumps and thuds, and if I open it, they'll bite me. But if I leave it closed, they can't bite me. So I'm gonna leave it closed. So I'm not gonna touch it. Again, what's with the world building? Sensei sushi, fresh food menu, spider roll, spider, five coins, squid, five. three coins, soybeans, one coin. Uh, sukiyaki don. Coin, 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 coin. Pickle roll. Ah. All of it frozen food. Okay. The, the best so for, fresh Japanese. For cyberpunk games, is it like instead of time to create, it's like time to Japanese. Oh my god. Yeah. Hey, look. It's that guy. This junk is not working. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of it. Man, look at E-Dog up there. It's t -t 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 time to try uh, 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 another pair of good, 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 good glasses. Good, good, good glasses. What? Uh, hey, look, it's all of you tuned in right now. There you are. You're just <laughs> watching your content on your virtual lenzos. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna leave this screen because I saw the arrow I like, and clicked. I like the math graffiti. <laughs> math graffiti. What in the world ever became a sweet chain? Two plus one, right here. Yeah. Two plus one makes three. Three. An underground cinematic opera by Pereverdi. It's okay, an E Dog poster. Rad, actually. E Dogs are taking <laughs> over Twitch. I tune in for gaming <laughs> content and they're <laughs> eating sticks and bones. <laughs> And I'm like, get off the platform! And they're like, bow wow. <laughs> bow wow wow. Um, <laughs> that creepy Jason guy from that movie. Yeah. So I bet it's just a hockey equation. player. Wait, what was the anti-life equation from? That's from Marvel or something, isn't it? The anti-life equation? Hey, the, 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 that's my d -d -d dumpster. Go, 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 go away. That's a hell of a dumpster. An automated dumpster. Probably broken. Oh, thank God, we need this. Oh, okay, it's a lot of questions. Week. It's, it's oh, dark okay, side. Because I looked up, I was reading about dark seed, so that's where I probably. Can. Yeah, the and um, the the equation is four times three to protect dark side's creative vision. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so embarrassed to be laughing at my own joke, but that's really funny. Oh, that's very good. I like that. That's very good. Oh, uh, shit. It's just 12. Uh, like, that's fucking anti life equation. It's four times three. It's it's 12. <laughs> and everyone's just like, oh, <laughs> fall apart. <laughs> the atoms just immediately separate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, man. Oh. oh, hell yeah. Insert. <laughs> unlock the. Unlock, unlock it with your broom and then insert the jumper into the electrical cabinet. And, I gotta. Fuck, I don't I know. Don't... Short circuit the dumpster? I don't know what we're doing. Dude, dude, we're like, I, I really want to tweet that. Fucking. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Do four it. times Did three. It, I, 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 live, it needs a little tweet. bit more work. Like, my favorite number is 12, but I write as four times three to protect my creative vision. 
yeah, it's not as good as the other one. The other one was better. That's so fucking good. There's a tweet. So listen, if anyone wants to write their own tweet, at me and I'll retweet it. Um, electrical cabinet. Uh, is it is it locked? All right. It's locked. Oh hell yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? I hope that the game involves us collecting different heads of screwdrivers. <laughs> almost dead plants. Look at almost dead plants. I'm no gardener, but there seems to be a disaster here. <laughs> we are a middle schooler for sure. There isn't any treasure buried here. I hate Easter. Oh, are, Death did you Marauders. seriously just. There was a fire Death extinguisher. Marauders. In a random place in this alley, you, and you, you put it in your jacket. Okay. Mm. This is a challenging point-and-click adventure game. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't know if that's like a review I read or whether that's like their tagline. Ooh, cartridges! I'll take these. <laughs> Hands on my. <laughs> right. Ring the alarm bell. I'm crackling inside. Give me a damaged electrical component, and I won't. You're shocked today. Okay, let's open the door. It's locked from the inside. All right, so I think that we've is mostly... Is this a burger place? This is... Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> Hi, cat. Oh, man, shit. I want to get a cat, but I gotta... I've decided I need to wait to see if, you know, my life changes a ton in the next couple months. Sure, sure. You don't want to. You don't want to get a pet and a right. pandemic pet, and then become a, you know, yeah. not good pet parent. Yeah. Post post pandemic pet parent. A P P P P. Okay. Oh, let's go yeah. into the restaurant. Look Ooh, at that. Oh, sushi. That's gonna be me right oh at. This God. is me. I, I can't wait to go to conveyor sushi again. Oh my God! I'm so excited. Wait, did I did I tell you all? I got I got vaccinated. Oh, oh yeah! Good job. No. And I got I got the Johnson and Johnson one. So like so in two weeks, just I'm, one dose. I'm done. Oh, yeah. Bam! That's great. Yeah, and and like it, it was it was truly weird what happened. Yeah. Um, because there is this place where um, so so Britt got an appointment, and I went there, and they went, "Do you do you have an appointment?" I was like, "No, no, no, no. it's just my wife." And he's like, "Oh well, just come on in then." And I was like. What? Uh, uh, uh and I said, to him? and he said, he said, like, I said, I don't qualify. And he's like, oh, well, if someone that you live with is getting the vaccine, then you qualify. And what? I went, and I went, what? Wait, is that and then and is I have that no true? idea because this person was way too casual, right? This person was yeah. way too casual. And, and I said, but wait, like, shouldn't someone else get it? And he says, well, look, we, it, it's Easter weekend. We have 500 doses that we have to give out today, but we've only had 200 um, schedulings. So, uh -huh. um, you see this donut shop here? Anytime someone goes in for a donut, I ask them if they want a vaccination. Yep. Whoa. And I was like, yeah, I guess what did I expect, right? Because I think that, like, there's that phenomenon in, like, storytelling or, like, in games where if you have something that's really dramatic and, as an effect, you want a dramatic, like, motivation. Like, if a bomb exploded and killed 100 puppies... And then it turns out the reason is, oh, did you say the coordinates were five? I thought you said nine. My bad. Like, something that feels, like, uneven about that, right? And so I have, like, literally not done anything interesting outside of this apartment for, right. like, 15 months, whatever it is. What, right. What, what, 13 months. And and then they are like, hey, do you want a vaccine? I, I was like, yes. And then they went, <laughs> all right. Wow. Get out of here. Sweet. And, yeah, and and uh, so that's uh, that's how that happened. And I mean, I guess it that's makes awesome. sense because, like, you know, everyone's supposed to get it. So, yeah, why why would I not expect like a high school student to be there? It's like, Steve, do you have an appointment? Yeah, okay, right this way. Like, of course, of course, if they need to get yeah. like three hundred million doses, they're just gonna go to a high school kid and be like, come here. Do you want to tell people if they have an appointment to go to this line? Good, great. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, but, like, I, again, I sort of expected that I would have to go through a much more dramatic, hardcore, agonizing process to align with the agonizing experience that's been being in a pandemic. But instead, it was just... Right. Yeah. Just yeah. rando. Rando post-pando. Um, right. I... 
Yeah, because I, I, I have my... I got my first shot two weeks ago. So I'm 80%. And uh, get my next shot on Friday. And then... Um, but my housemates um, don't qualify yet. So we're still a pod. Yeah, yeah, yeah It's yeah. going to be It's going to be weird because... Once we're all vaccinated, that will be the first time living with my housemates where we aren't COVID bonded pod. It's just going to be like, yeah. Well, I guess I don't know you anymore. It's, yeah, it's, like, it's, I guess, you and the riffraff. I guess it's just it's it's. Yeah, I guess it's just yeah. Every every person for themselves now. Like, oh, it's going to be so weird because like I just realized I can go on a date. Yeah, yeah. like I've never dated my wife. I get to do that first. We got married, but we, we, we're not dating right now. Cause Great. No, totally. That's it. Do you realize that forever from now on, you'll be able to say, like, well, we got married during the pandemic. Oh, I already leveraged yeah, that shit. Sorry, oh, yeah. what, what did you do? You, you like, got married, like, in a church with, like, all your families there and stuff? I got married in a sidewalk in the pandemic. Ah, yes. it, was, it was the pandemic. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was. Yeah. Amazing. Oh. Amazing. Let's talk to this chubby guy. We're the greatest generation, basically. We're, basically. we're the, mo the most powerful. Please, <laughs> enjoy this Hootie and the Blowfish song from my youth. <laughs> Is the soup good? Who wants to be chubby guy? Yes, chomp, chomp, yes. Gurgle, Gurgle. better hurry before it gets chomp. <laughs> Gurgle? He's like, oh, oh, oh. Chomp. chomp. You gurgle should also try the nigiri chomp. Chomp ramen chomp. It's good too. The, the chomp nigiri ramen. ramen. Chomp at a mame chomp. I won't <laughs> miss the chance. Chomp at a mame chomp. What do you like to order? Chomp, chomp, chomp. Chomp. chomp, chomp I'm eating chomp. everything. Chomp. Chomp. <laughs> chomp. <laughs> You don't chomp look like a waiter, though. Is he blue? Yes. Are I you really eating all you can? I think just gurgle good. about chomp anything. Except that insipid chomp maki. <laughs> it's so bland chomp. It'll never taste good chomp to me. What is happening? <laughs> you know, the, this reminds me a little bit of the bleeping clown from Thimbleweed. Oh god! <laughs> yeah. I mean, because there were points when when I just wished the voice actor would be like, "Look, you're looking at a poster of a woman," you know, like it just and just say, "Just like it's a dude photo of some kind of dude woman standing there." Spot on. Spot on. Oh god! <laughs> and this guy is Chomp eating everything, Chomp, and and frankly, as as a as a chubby guy, I'm. I, I'm both offended and also we're absolutely like that. Dude, you're not a chubby guy. We're a chubby planet. It's chubby. Somebody said it's chubby girl, chubby girl summer and we're all invited. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Dave Rattenborough and this is chubby planet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that would be amazing. And then they only... They only show like you know the the like chubster animals like uh, the like, like the Sean pig the Sean like, uh... Blotts. If you think yeah. you'd be having snacks after dinner, you'd be right. Right, well, that's I, the. I just I'm I'm thinking like a show where they just do you know it's just a nature show, but like they just focus on the animals that are like by their nature sort of chubsters like um like adorable yeah yeah animals hippos. Uh, Anyways, maybe this is a good thing for chat. Chat, maybe you can come up with some more chubby animals. Or like walruses, uh, bumblebees are absolute oh, flying bumblebees. fatties. Oh yeah, yeah. bees. Yeah. Yeah. I guess a lot of things in the Arctic are going to be chubby. Uh, there are some chubby fish, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Um, yeah, tunas, very chubby. Dude, or yeah. orca whales, absolute Ooh. chubsters. <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> definitely in the Doritos in the sea, those orcas are, man, let me tell you. Yeah. May I, may I sit here? Yeah. Chomp. Oh, you surprised Chomp. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'd also I don't do this very often, but I'd love to put out an official call for fan art for anyone who can do it of uh, just to mock up, um, you know, like some screen art, some some art for uh, for David Attenborough's Chubby Planet as a show. <laughs> Chubby Planet. Oh, we do still have a stack of coins. That's pretty good. Maybe I should put um, this chubby guy out with a fire extinguisher. <laughs> sure. I, every time you hover over the silent chap, I think it's a silent cop. So, yeah. So this is head cannon. That dude's an undercover cop. Nice hoodie. I oh. truly appreciate your kind words about my choice of clothing. I won this hoodie in a contest. What contest? The fastest pie calculation. Pie calculation? The pie seven. calculation. The contest is about calculating as many digits after the decimal point as possible. Okay. So like 3.14159. No computer aids are allowed, of course. Is that, it? Is that right? Should you get at math then? Or maybe you just memorize the longest sequence numbers yeah. you could? I just followed the techniques used by Sir Isaac Newton. For approximating? Without body modifications, he couldn't go beyond 16 digits, though. Right. Interesting. I succeeded in calculating a, a, a hundred billion, I think. This is some kind of implants, then? No, I used other kinds of aids. Marital aids. Wait. <laughs> There's a problem here, right? Because the reason that you use fact, uh, fact, factoring? No. Um, rather than pi is because once you calculate it once you right. know the answer a number yeah 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 i mean i the i only know one digit of pi so in all my calculations i just use three that's that's pretty good yeah i use some um, i i just take a what i do is i take a bicycle tire and i cut it and then um i look at it repeatedly stretched out and turn into a circle and then i just eyeball the difference and that's pi that's fine. Just, oh, oh, oh. We're about to be it's blessed. about this much. Yeah, pie is like that. One unwound tire. Are you a regular here? To be honest, this is the first time I've eaten at this place. I read a blog about street food. Well, I write a street about blog food. It's called Spicy Hater. Spicy I guess that means you're a fan of spicy stuff. It would be reductive to say I just don't like it. I literally hate everything, even remotely spicy. Are you I even a gamer if you don't rage gasm? Discovering spice free places and reviewing them. Hmm. I heard this was one of them, so that's why I'm here. So, how's the dinner? Wait, so we have to put spice on uh -huh. a maki? Yep. You know, the development of food trade between countries. Raises the questions of global something. Does it? I'm very mm -hmm. concerned about it. Does it? That's why I avoid imported toppings and spices. No ragarets. So, so let me use this stool. Let me take a stool. Oh, shit. Taking a stool. I didn't even... That's pretty good. I've never actually heard of someone say that they're going to take a stool. Hey, you've got some... Uh, you've got some odds and ends there. You've got some activities. Well, we've got. We can wait for. Just Nagiri. So here's the thing. Nagiri, Sashimi. So Ooh, you wanna lay me? And I'm, I'm on. Ooh, you're looking creamy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so here we go. Largo, Montego, baby, why don't we go? Raspberry juice, coffee, weird green, cola, spicy juice. Give me the spicy juice. Oh, I gotta pay money. Give me the coins. Spicy oh, juice. Spicy juice. He I didn't have enough coin. I didn't understand. I, like, I didn't. I didn't see that solution to the puzzle because it's fucking stupid. Whoa. No, 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 no. You're gonna, you're gonna put. It's you're gonna challenging. pour juice. You're gonna you pour some here? juice onto the sushi and then put it back onto the conveyor and the guy's juice just gonna eat it. Sushi. Well, I mean, he's got a review, and I got the juice, and let me tell... Oh, and, and here's a great part. I have no idea why I'm doing this. Uh, right? It's a soup. 
Oh Fresh my god, I wish everything said a kind of. I wish it said it's a kind of suit. Oh, look at this animation! Oh! Good oh, Lord. we're about to eat that oh, shit. Oh, Lord. eat up. Is he, he's just eating everything that comes? Uh, no, he ate the next soup after the one that you poisoned. I mean, he did eat that next soup, right? I, I didn't. I thought he wasn't gonna eat the soup, Talk to but. Him. Well, this is a challenging game. See, okay, I would have thought he would just eat the maki, because the other guy said the maki is so bland. Oh. I, well, I think you're right. That edamame looks dubious. I'm out. I don't fucking have it anymore. Yeah, you gotta go buy more. You're gonna have to work a shift at a job to get more cash. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, I need to make, my boss is getting upset with me and he's like withholding my, sal my salary and shit. <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna get a couple of them. <laughs> just in case there's, there's more... There's more spice averse people that we need to antagonize. The spice averse? The Marvel spice averse? <laughs> the Marvel spice averse! Oh my god, um, so. Uh, I already have I follow, this drink or crap beer. I follow Erica Ishii on Twitter because one time we said hi at IndieCade randomly and I was like, I don't know who that is, and then I felt bad because I was grumpy. No, oh, um, damn. And, uh, Erica's just been posting all this stuff about um like promoted tweets about like godzilla oh yeah i think erica ishii's just been getting paid to watch and and tweet thoughts about godzilla movies which is pretty cool i mean they all say like you know hashtag hashtag promoted tweet blah 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 but like it just makes me want to get i think there's like there's like japanese godzilla movies going on and then there's american ones and one one of those sets of movies is called the MonsterVerse, and because it's like a Wait, cinematic I thought the MonsterVerse. I thought that was Universal's attempt to uh, take all of the classic movie monsters like uh, Dracula and Frankenstein uh, and, and Wolfman, and they made one movie and they called it the MonsterVerse. I mean, it, it was that wasn't the title of the movie, but they marketed it as. Uh, Universal's MonsterVerse, and then they never made another movie. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I so really... I think this guy yeah. only eats wow. this thing. Yep. Yeah, yep. Uh, yeah, that's the Maki. So you gotta wait for... There it is. Oh! Oh! Oh, here we go. Here we go. He's fucking fucked. He's so fucking fucked. Mm -hmm. He's kind of salty because the mock here makes me cry. What? What's happening? The food tastes strange. And poisoned. My stomach is bursting. Uh, uh, this food is rotten. Oh, Are you okay? Talk to you. I feel sick. Please call an ambulance. I need help. The food is rotten. There's something in it. I'm going to report this. I'm going to write about it on my blog. <laughs> I'm going to calculate my oh, agony to a billion oh, digits. Uh... Calm down. Let me fix this, please. Wow. I, I was thinking he was like a Paul Bunyan kind of guy. Or maybe like a Soviet Bunyan. What? So he's throwing out a lot of sushi? Is that what happened? Maybe. And now this guy's gonna eat it. And now because he eats the sushi, he's gonna give us some goggles. Alright, you know, I, I still haven't spoken to the chef. Yeah, I'll, like, I'm, un I'm unsure what the interactables are. How's the dinner? It's awful. It's the worst restaurant in the city. Magoon. <clears throat> my, favorite, my favorite monster is Creature from the Black Lagoon. A.K.A. Mm -hmm. Magoon. M Magoon? Did I tell you that? Have I not told you this micro story? It's one of my favorite micro stories from my life. No. Went to see Creature from the Black Lagoon in a theater. It was in 3D and stuff. And uh, there was a dad and a little kid sitting behind me. And the little kid kept asking what was going on, but he, he was not old enough to say Creature from the Black Lagoon. So he just called the creature Magoon. 
Magoon. I, that's actually kind of amazing. As in Magoon, like that? As in Magoon? <laughs> yeah, as in like, where, where's Magoon? You know, that kind of... <laughs> I love it. I love Magoon. Yeah. Oh, is it already 858? Holy it is, God. It is. Yeah. I don't understand why we just poisoned that guy. I really don't. I like, like, I gotta be honest. I have found the last 90 minutes to be sensationally compelling. This is good stuff. This is uh, old school, new school, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I think that's exactly what it is. It's, now, um, yeah. What I sensate is happening here is this appears to be right up the uh, alley of what a classic point-and-click adventure game does, which is that you don't know what your goal is. I don't know what I'm trying to do. It's unclear why anything is outside of, I want to fix my headset. Where's my girlfriend? And like, <laughs> and my solution is to find out someone hates something and then make them eat that. Like, I do this yeah. is what we've achieved in doing. Someone's just like, I'm allergic to porcupines. We like look around, like find the porcupine. <laughs> we just smash it into him. And he's like, oh, my allergies. And we just like follow him. It's like, he's got to drop something at some point here. I don't know. I view all human interactions in like their pinatas. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I, I love that this game gives us, uh, gives us characters to voice. That's always fun. Yeah, and I love fun. that it's, it's, um, it's good enough that I feel good about making fun of it. That's that's also great. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's it is gorgeous. I mean, it's embracing the sort of like uh, pixel art aesthetic of the games that it's it's drawing from, and uh, but without I think the the limitations of the color palette that a lot of those games had, uh, and so it's just like really. Yeah, for a for a grimy cyberpunk noir game, it's really vibrant and pretty. Yeah, yeah, and and it, like I don't know if this comes across as I'm playing it, but there it, it's very dense in terms of interactables and look at ables. Yeah, and I really like yeah. the inversion of instead of saying here's the verbs and use the verbs on the objects in the space, it's like here's the objects and you click on them to find out the applicable verbs uh, because yeah, it just makes it so way the hell easier. Mm -hmm. Like, so way the hell easier to just, like, interact with stuff, and it makes the entire scene feel really rich, because I feel like the, when you have all the verbs, and then there's, like, 20 interactables, what you do is you're trying to cross off things. Right. Like, oh, can I do something with this? No. Can I do something with this? No. Can I do something with this? No. So it's like, each thing feels a little bit like 20 opportunities for disappointment, but when it's like, here's the yeah, object yeah. and the verbs, it's like, here's this, and I can look at it, and I go, oh. Well, that's all. I wonder what this is about. So you look, and it's like, okay, cool. Um, have, we, have we seen that? Like, contextual menus, I, like, actions? I'm trying to remember where, because I, I know that I've seen it, uh, and I could have sworn that we had seen it in something, I feel but... Like we had to have. Not sure where. Musta, musta. Um, yeah, I, I'll, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that said... Mm -hmm. We did use a broom on a corner of a poster. So maybe yeah. all these things are just disappointments waiting to happen. I mean, maybe for some other... reason, the reset code for our uh, for our apartment exit was written on the corner of a poster. Yeah, I think that's pretty tight. It's challenging. <laughs> it's challenging. <laughs> it's artistically challenging. Well, I guess that's, I mean, that's, I'm really happy we, we fired up this puppy. I'm really happy we yeah. played it. I, I really Good hope puppy. that what we start to do is just cause irreparable agony to everyone yeah. that we've encountered. Dream dude, drug pusher man, uh, guy in VR who, who loves his dumpster, anti-spice person, and um, bouncer grumper. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget yeah. the chubby guy. That's true. It's chubby guy who chomp eats chomp, chomp. things chomp. Gurgle chaos. We just need to be Gurgle careful chomp. not to cut ourselves on our own edge, though. I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. I. I. We. We have a lot of hard edges as a character. We. I think the I coolest thing about our character is the motorcycle. <laughs> I mean, I just love that 
you're right, Lee. He he wears a motorcycle helmet oh. over his hood. Are you okay, Sean? <laughs> yeah, no, I uh, was pushing up on the arm of my chair, but the the thing that locks it in place was not locked in place, and so got I'm, it. So okay. I just shoved it down. Um, there, there's something that's kind of I can't tell if I think it's interesting or whether I feel like it's discordant, which is that there's the Rin Tin Tin style look of a character, which is that you make an extremely generic looking character because it's easier to connect to than an extremely specific looking character. Um, yeah. So we, as a character, have a, a a hood up with the empty face. Yeah. So we don't actually... We're cool death. I don't even know if we have been identified as any particular type of person or gender or background other than that we're like a, a, a tough hacker. Yeah, good point. I don't know that we have. But it's uh, maybe we've even been given a name, but I don't know. And that said, our character has an extreme reaction, has an extreme characterization. He's like, the news media can't be trusted. Ugh, this is ridiculous. Like, so, so we kind of have this mix of shrouding the character's face and then interesting having a strong personality. Yeah, yeah. interesting. That that is an interesting mix. Huh. So, 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 so feels little... I mean, I, I had to be the one to say it. I didn't, I didn't want to, but you know, you put me in the it's position, Lee. What am, what am I going to do? Well, I guess, I guess that's that. And I guess I'll see y'all on Monday. And that was a, it was a fine yeah, day. A pleasure. Well, see you in seven days. Seven from heaven. <laughs> day seven TV, where we learn to see you in seven days. That's true. Damn. Uh, I can't. That I can't believe quick. we got through this. It's great. I'm. Uh... Let's do some behind the scenes chatter. Oh God, what a show! Wow, I'm so glad that's over. Holy shit! My uh, name's something else, actually. Yeah. <laughs> my name is not and will never be Lee. Ever. It's not my name. There are a few things I hate more than doing shows about the worst genre ever to people that are like supportive. I mean, this is bullshit. Ugh gross too bad this we have this court ordered show <laughs> <laughs> oh it's so good